Hello, welcome to study circle. Today we are going to read class 6 geography chapter 3 motions of the earth. The earth has two types of motions rotation revolution. Rotation is the movement of earth on its axis. The movement of the earth around the sun is fixed path or orbit is called revolution. Orbit plane. The axis of the earth which is an imaginary line makes an angle of 66 and half with its orbital plane. The plane formed by the orbit is known as orbital plane. Tilt of axis. The earth's, earth's axis is tilted at an angle of 66.5 on its orbital plane. On the other hand, the earth's axis is tilted at 23.5 degree on the line which is perpendicular to its orbital plane. The circle that divides the day from night on the globe is called circle of illumination. The circle that divides the day from night on the globe is called circle of illumination. The earth takes about 24 hours to complete on rotation around its axis. The period of rotation is known as the earth day means daily motion of the earth. The time taken by earth to complete one revolution is called one year. One year has 365 and one fourth days, 365 days and 6 hours. What would happen if the earth did not rotate? If there had been no rotation of the earth, one half of the earth would have been constantly in daylight and another half would have been constantly in dark. The portion under sunlight would have been too hot. On the other hand, the portion in dark would have been freezing cold. Such extreme temperature could have made it impossible for life to thrive on our planet. Perihelion The point at which planet is nearest to the sun is called perihelion. Aphelion The point at which a planet is farthest from the sun is called aphelion. It is important to note that perihelion is nearest to the sun and Aphelion is farthest from the sun. On 21st March and 23rd September, direct rays of the sun fall on the equator. At this point, neither of the poles is tilted toward the sun, so the whole earth experiences equal days and equal nights. This is called equinox, summer solstice. On 21st June, the northern hemisphere is tilted toward the sun. The rays of the sun fall directly on the Tropic of Cancer. As a result, these areas receive more heat. The areas near the pole receive less heat as the rays of the sun are slanting. The north pole is inclined towards the sun and the places beyond the arctic circle experience continuous daylight for about 6 months. Since a large portion of the northern hemisphere is getting light from the sun, it is summer in the regions north of the equator. The longest day and the shortest night at these places occur on 21st June. At this time in the southern hemisphere, all these conditions are reversed. It is winter season there. The nights are longer than the days. Winter solstice On 22nd December, the Tropic of Capricorn receive direct rays of the sun at south pole tilt toward it. As the sun rays fall vertically at the Tropic of Capricorn, 23 degrees, 23 and a half degrees south, a large portion of the southern hemisphere gets light. Therefore, it is summer in the southern hemisphere with longer days and shorter nights. The reverse happens in the northern hemisphere. Reverse happens. Here is a picture from NCRT book that is 21st March is equinox. In northern hemisphere, northern pole it is spring and in southern pole it is autumn. In 22 December it is winter solstice. Northern winter in the northern hemisphere and summer in southern hemisphere. Another equinox is in 23rd September. 
in north pole it's autumn and in south pole it's spring summer solstice in 21st june summer in northern hemisphere and winter in southern hemisphere another important fact from NCERT is that the ancient Indian astronomer Aryabhatta had stated that the earth is round and it's rotated on its own axis. Thank you.